Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and improvements available on Windows 11 build 22567. This preview comes with some new stuff, but they're not tied to a specific release of Windows 11. Microsoft may choose to include or discard any of these features at any time. Also, some of these features may even roll out before the next feature update. Also, since a lot of these new changes are available only to some users, I will have to show you a screenshot instead of demoing the feature themselves. Okay, let's dive into the new features and changes for Windows 11 build 22567. As part of the uh, start menu changes, when dragging an icon over another, you will notice a new animation that lets you know that dropping that icon on top of another will create a folder. However, in this build, it is still not possible to rename the folder. However, in future updates, that's a feature that Microsoft is planning to add. On Windows 11 build 22567, Microsoft is also updating the Open With interface that allows you to choose what applications to use to open a specific file. And it even makes it easier to update your default app with just one click, which is this one right here. In this release, Microsoft is also updating the multi-finger touch gestures to include a more responsive and delightful animation as the company puts it that follows your finger as you can see on this animation from Microsoft. On Windows Update the system will now schedule automatic updates during the times that will result in lower carbon emissions. According to the company electrical grids supply power from multiple sources including renewable and fossil fuels. In this update Windows 11 will prioritize installing updates when more clean energy is being used, such as solar, wind, or hydro. However, the feature will only be available when electrical grid data is available. And you will know that the feature is enabled because on the Windows Update settings, you will see this message. In this flight, and moving forward, the Your Microsoft Account page will no longer be available, but that information will now appear in the Accounts section. As you can see in this screenshot from Microsoft, in the account section, if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription, you will see your payment information and there is also an alert when you need to update that villain information as needed. And you will also see the people that you're sharing that subscription with, including information about that subscription. Furthermore, you will also see details about the OneDrive storage usage, as you can see right here. Now, if you don't have a Microsoft 365 subscription, you will still see a section showing you the free services that you can get with your Microsoft account, including the storage usage on OneDrive and links to open the Office web apps. And because Microsoft wants you to use the service, conveniently added an option to upgrade the service to the subscription. On Windows 11, build 22567, Microsoft is also updating the Windows Security app with a new feature called Smart App Control. And it is a security feature that has been designed to block untrusted and potentially dangerous apps. The feature can only be enabled on devices that have a clean installation. And because I just upgraded from the previous build to the newest build, in my case, it's turned off. But the way it works is that you need to configure the feature in evaluation mode. While in this mode, it will try to learn how to protect your device without getting on the way. If this is the case, it will automatically turn on. Otherwise, it will automatically turn off. If it is in evaluation mode, you can always turn on and off the feature at any time. Finally, the Windows 11 initial setup, also known as the out of box experience, it's getting a new section that allows you to link your Android phone to your computer, as you can see right here. Although this feature is new for the initial setup of Windows 11, these features have already been available on Windows 10. And that's it. Those were pretty much all the new features and changes available on Windows 11 build 22567. On this flight, there is also many fixes and improvements, and I will be leaving a link in the video description so you can learn more about them. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.